Finally, once your dive is complete, let's get out of the water and take a quick look at how to properly disassemble your equipment after use. Remember, the air is still turned on and the system is pressurized. You can remove the remaining air in the BCD by gently pulling on the dump valves. Before doing anything else, turn off the air supply. Do this by turning the handle to the right, toward the BCD. Keep turning it until you no longer can, ensuring the tank is fully closed. The regulator hoses still contain pressurized air inside. Before proceeding, completely depressurize the system by pressing down the purge button on the regulator mouthpieces. Now you can begin to disassemble the equipment. Disconnect the LPI hose and remove it from any loops or attachments on the BCD. Do the same with your SPG, removing it from any attachments on the BCD. Now you are ready to remove the first stage from the air cylinder. Loosen the yoke screw by turning it to the left. Gently hold the first stage in place while doing this. Once loosened, you can pull the first stage up away from the tank. It's very important. The inside of the regulator does not get wet and the water on the dust cap could damage the equipment. Thoroughly dry the dust cap by blowing air onto it or using a dry towel. Make sure it is completely dry. Stop any water from entering the first stage and replace the dust cap. Hold it in place while you tighten the yoke screw, keeping the dust cap firmly in place. Take good care of your equipment while disassembling. Finally, you can now remove the BCD from the air cylinder. Pull the strap to release the tank band buckle and loosen the safety strap, removing it over the top of the tank valve. Slide the BCD up, freeing it from the tank. Remember to remove all of the water holding the BCD upside down. You can squeeze the BCD and press down on the deflate button to remove all of the water. Now you are ready to wash all of your equipment thoroughly with fresh water and pack it away as required. 